Hey Aries, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Aries? This is for the, the, the this is for the week of December the first through the seventh. What messages do we have? What guidance do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, we have two Aries. We have two. All right, so first one we have is the. Pink, pink Rose of Lady Nada. Let's read that. It says, You are in the midst of a heart healing, a healing of the fears and anxieties that have held you back from enjoying your full magnificence. Lady Nada is here with all her gentle power, washing you in a soft pink light. All anger, fear, sadness, bitterness, disappointment, and hurt are soothed, and love into peace. She brings you a sign of your future blossoming into love. All right, then. We also have Peridium Shift. I think I know I'm saying that wrong, but you, you, you're going to fucking see it. I've had, I did a reading for somebody the other day, and I swear I cannot get this word out to save my life. Per, per didium, per didium Shift. I don't know how to say it. It says you are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. You are in ex you are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in a moment. The the world you thought you knew can suddenly break open and a new world can become your reality. Hmm. What you say? I like that. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is for the week of December the 1st through December the 7th, 2019. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for December the 1st, December the 2nd, December the 3rd, December the 4th, December the 5th, December the 6th, and December the 7th of 2019. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for for December the 1st through December the 7th, 2019. I feel like that's going to, you're going to have to be standing up for, you're going to have to stand your ground this week. Um, seven of Wands here, this is, this is about standing up for a commitment or someone could be resisting commitment as well. All right, so let's put that right there. I don't want my thing to fall. Seven of Wands does represent standing up for what you believe. It represents, like I said, um, Standing your ground, standing up for your passions, that's being passionate about your choice, okay? So someone's passionate about a choice to commit, it looks like, I don't know. So Sunday here, we got the Seven of Pentacles, could be at a temporary pause in action, could be watering some seeds that you set previously. Monday, we have the Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, that could be a spiritual or emotional growth, you could be walking down a new pathway in life. Um, for a lot of you guys, you could be walking away from some disappointments um, in your life. All right, so Tuesday we have the Three of Swords. Yes, so I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're walking away from a connection, severing a connection. Okay. Wednesday we have the Four of Cups. I feel like you're dealing with some discontentment or some disappointment from whatever sorrow you've um, had this week. Thursday, we have the King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. The King of Pentacles is Taurus, but it could be any earth signs. I feel like you're in a space of, some of you guys could be resisting a commitment because you could be walking away because of betrayal. So, Friday, we have the Chariot here. Could be dealing with Cancerian energy. Um, this could be finding your motivation to move forward. Sunday, I mean, Saturday, we have the Four Swords. So some of you guys could be Retreating from a situation, finding your motivation to move toward your own victory. I feel like you're confident, confidently moving forward. And I'm going to say that. I feel like you're confidently moving forward. I feel like you're moving toward some sort of wealth or stuff. You guys could have been waiting for someone to choose to commit. You have mental clarity here. But like you're standing in your own power and I feel like you're focused on moving toward something new. Someone you've been dealing with had a lot of options. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here. Five to seven pentacles here. Five to seven pentacles here. So we have the ten of pentacles here. I feel like for some of you guys, Cherry, you could have been in a you could have been in a relationship 
with a Cancerian energy. Eight of Swords here, feeling restricted. Um, for some of you guys, you could be finding your motivation to, you know, move toward a new commitment. Some of you guys may have invested, and you could be moving toward a new commitment. You could have invested into something else. Um, but Eight of Swords, I do feel like that was either a mental interference or someone was actually interfered. I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, someone's in the space of letting go of that interference or letting go of whatever seeds they've set within the situation. So Eight of Cups here for Monday. Why is this Eight of Cups here for Monday? Why is this Eight of Cups here for Monday? What's this Eight of Cups? We got the Ace of Wands here. So I feel like there's an opportunity here. Someone could be going through an emotional growth. It could be a new kind of life. You could be walking, like I said, on a new path. So some of you guys are walking on a new path. I do feel like you are investing into something new. With the page of wands here, I feel like there's some good news because of this. Temperance here could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but I feel like this is mental and emotional balance as you go on this new journey. For some of you guys, you're standing up for what you believe. You're on a new spiritual journey. So three of swords here. We have the Empress. So some of you guys could be in the space, could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra. Definitely see Taurus right here. I feel like there could be some severance. There could be a heartbreak. King of Pentacles is under here. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. There could be a heartbreak dealing with the Taurus. Ten of Swords, you're embracing the end of that heartbreak. There could have been some deception within the relationship to a, a Pentacles here. Now, if you're not dealing with the Taurus, Taurus, Libra here, but Empress could be any feminine energy. You could be embracing the end of a connection you could be going into this higher vibration embracing the end of a relationship really healing so some of you guys could be healing from a relationship from this king of pentacles someone that may have been back and forth um investing into you so four of cups here why is this four of cups here i feel like for some of you guys you're in a space of you may be missing an opportunity here i'm gonna be real with you because the ace of cups is here but I feel like you're content with missing this opportunity because I feel like your focus is now changed. I feel like you guys want a life partner and whatever you had before was not that. So why is this four of cups here? Why is this four of cups here? Ace of swords. Yes, you have clarity here. You see the discontentment. You see the unhappiness that you will have in this relationship because seven of pentacles, you've been at a pause in action. You've been waiting for something to come into fruition. So for some of you guys, you're walking away because you've been waiting for something to come into fruition and you're being nurturing or loving to self and, and choosing to walk away from an unhappy situation. Um, for a lot of you guys, you see that someone may also be investing with a water sign. So you could be unhappy about that, two of swords. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be blocking this person because this king of pentacles keeps showing up. I feel like they could be back and forth in your life. You could be in a space of blocking them, of creating mental peace by removing the conflict. Why is this king of pentacles here? 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 Seven of Wands. So for a lot of you guys, you could be resisting this. Uh, yeah, you could be resisting. You could be confident for some of you guys. If you're dealing with you got your husband or someone you are in a relationship with, you could be at a space of confident about resisting them. Six of Swords here. I feel like Knight of Wands, Strength. These are cards that I see right here. Knight of Wands, Strength, and the Six of Swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're finding your strength to move forward. You're resisting this person. You may feel like this person was just control you now you could be in a space of becoming this emperor king of pentacles and really standing up for your beliefs to take control in your life with the judgment in reverse for some of you guys this is not a reconciliation some of you guys may be resisting reconciling with someone from your past with possibly an earth sign chariot here so we have six of pentacles here i feel like you're moving toward balance hermit here some of you guys could very much be contemplating moving forward investing into something new i feel like knight of wands will of fortune i feel like this is a quick change that you're making you may have been communicating with this person but i feel like you've been waiting you've been in the space of waiting for a seed to come into fruition for so long now you're ready to move forward now you're in a space of seeing the balance of moving forward very much inside of yourself really seeing your value and wanting to make changes some of you guys are definitely moving forward. You also could be dealing with the cancer. You could be moving forward into a relationship with the cancer or wands. Could be making plans. All right, so four of swords here. Why is this four of swords here? Why is this four of swords here? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys are retreating from whatever this is that you've been very patient in in the past. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Three of swords. I feel like you're severing a connection. 
strength here, finding your strength, could be dealing with the Leo, two of wands. I feel like some of you guys, you're at a crossroads here. You're establishing your strength, but you understand the internal, the internal conflict. So you're at peace with this. A lot of you guys are very much at peace with resisting this situation. Eight of Pentacles, you're choosing to invest in something new. So I do feel like some of you guys, you're, you're choosing to be at peace. Some of you guys may have been dealing with a situation that was not peaceful to you, so you're choosing peace. Maybe it wasn't peaceful because you felt like you were investing with no returns. All right, so let's see here. Three of swords under them. I'm telling you, some of y'all going to um, sever a connection this week. You're going to stand up for what you believe is right, for your own wealth of self. You feel like you're worth more than what they're offering. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Aries, Sun, Rising, Venus, moving forward. Okay. I'm going to take these three. We have persistence here. So I feel like you're very much in a state of being persistent in your actions. You're taking charge, most definitely. That very emperor. Yes, yeah, so you guys, I told you. You're choosing peace. You're taking charge of the situation and you're choosing peace. So I feel like for a lot of guys, you're just offering peace and moving forward. You're not even concerned anymore with whatever the situation is. That's all I have.